Today we will talk about Koto training. We will talk about goals and objectives, definition, how to enter through the course, the layout and its features, advantages versus disadvantages, how to download and install the software, which will be followed by an assessment and evaluation. Technically speaking, Goto Training is it is a web hosted online training service created and marketed by the Online Services Division of Citrix Systems. It is an online classroom and desktop sharing software that enables the user to present their screen to other trainees and students via the internet in real time, according to Wikipedia. In other words, it's a software designed for students and teachers to meet, exchange ideas, and discuss class-related curricula in the distance education field, at least. And it is ranked the number one online training program. Now let's take a look at how to access GoToTraining. So the first step, if you go, are doing this through a course, would be to log into the University Blackboard, where you enter your username and your password. The second step would be to go ahead and click on the course for which the conference is being held. Once you have logged into the course, go ahead and locate the GoToTraining link. It is usually in front in eyesight view. Every page is usually set up different. Every course is usually set up different. However, the go-to training link should be somewhere easily locatable. Once you have successfully entered the go-to training conference, you will see a box similar to this. If that is, the session has not begun yet. You just wait patiently and the professor will soon join the conference. Once the conference call begins, you will see this, the appearance to look similar to this, with the control panel on the right side and the presentation from the instructor being held on the left. The control panel on the right side is what you will be using to communicate with others throughout the conference call. Now let's take a look at the control panel in a little bit of more detail. Now, where it is, it is labeled M, that is the button to hide the control panel. That is if you wish to focus merely on the presentation and not look at the control panel. But advice would be to keep the control panel there as if you wish to participate and keep up with any questions being asked throughout the conference call. You will be able to see the questions on this panel. O is if you wish to mute yourself which would be a wise suggestion, as we always all have some background noise going on. P is if you wish to ask a question, you raise your hand. You, while the professor is talking, you can click the blue button and it would instruct the, it would alert the professor that you have a question. R is a list of everyone attending the session. You can see who is present, as well as can the instructor. S. These are your settings for your telephone, your mic, and speakers. Um, telephone is not recommended as it's not a toll-free number. However, uh, to use mic and speakers would be a wise move as you, the hearing would be more focused. And here you're able to set the level for the microphone and also you're able to set the level for the speakers. Now T is the place where you would chat. And as you can see, there's also a two option on the bottom. That is a sending if you wish to send it, uh, send your questions to the rest of the class. You can either send your question or your message to one person privately in the classroom, or you can send it to just the instructor in the classroom, or you can even send it to everyone for to see in the classroom. And if your professor has uploaded any material prior to the session at uh, the control panel, this is where you would be able to obtain that material as well. 
Um, advantages would definitely be that this is a great tool for distance education professors and students uh, to collaborate ideas, concepts, and material uh, from the curriculum. It's basically a platform for both sides to come together and uh, students receive opportunity to connect with peers and instructor directly. And this communication is very important because of the fact that this is already a distance education classroom so the interaction is very very limited so the more chances to connect with one another the better and finally uh, the app can be used on your pc or phone so it is a mobile uh, convenience two setbacks or two disadvantages to this training conference call are first technical difficulties we already are dealing with the distance education field, which means we were all um, on this remotely. But because of that, we should be prepared that anything at any time could be, go wrong. So you may have one set time for the uh, live session. However, be prepared that at any time, anything is possible of going uh, down. And then secondly, we are unable to see reaction and expression of peers when in discussion. So generally, in debates, your gestures, your reactions, your expressions are what make a debate or discussion more intimate. But because of conference calling, we are unable to do that. Um, the discussion may not be as intimate or as, as passionate um, as it could be as when in a traditional setting. How to download and install. So prior to joining a session the first time, you may have to download the software onto your PC or phone. This process can take up to 15 minutes. Once you have registered, you will receive a confirmation email and be taken to a similar page as this page right here. This page will tell you to download the software, it will tell you to install the software, and then you will be able to click on it and open up the software. So those are the three steps. And then you will open your download folder and you will find the software app and you will click on it to open the training. And then you will begin your training once the main page has opened up with the course presentation and the side panel. So that's a brief note here. Here are ways to download from each specific operating system. Here is for Windows and then here is for Mac. So you can see that for both you have to go to the App Store and then search go to training and then you download the app. For Windows it is the Google Play and for Mac it is the App Store. Summary. GoToConference is a web hosted online training service. It is an online classroom and desktop sharing software that enables the user to present their screen to other students via internet in real time. The control panel consists of many features such as mute button, raise hand, high panel, view attendance, audio, and text. It is a useful tool as it allows students and teachers to remotely communicate asynchronously even though not as intimately as in the traditional classroom. The software can be downloaded as an app on the PC or on a smartphone. Please now take the next few minutes to take an evaluation and take an assessment. The evaluation will consist of three minutes as well as the assessment. So please take your time.